Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to do a get ready with me and I had a very formal event so I called it black pearls for black tie even though technically Tahitian pearls are not black because each one contains a rainbow of dark colors. I'm going to start by rollering my face, so trendy I know, but what I really like this for is to help my moisturizer sink in so if you're going to be doing your makeup quickly after putting on your moisturizer it's a nice way to get it to just really sink in and also to plump up your lips. The foundation I'm using is the Laura Mercier. I have a few small breakouts around my chin, so this foundation really packs a punch to cover all of that up, and I've also noticed that it looks really good in photos. And then I'm going to be using my favorite bronzer as of late. Um, for a long, long time, I only used the NARS Laguna, but I've switched back to the Hourglass, which I actually have had for many years, and I'm actually, I think, close to hitting pan because I just love it and use it every day. It gives a nice glow and then my NARS eye primer is a must must for me every day but then especially even for a dramatic look like this and you're about to see it has a few steps and lots of blending but it's very straightforward what we're really trying to do is to recreate the different hues in the luster of Tahitian pearls and the main one for my line of pearls at least is um, teal for that peacock green that's gonna underlie everything else so I'm doing that with an NYX eye pencil just on the outer corner fading into the middle just blended in with my good old MAC dome shape brush and then the eyeshadow palette that I've been using even on the daily to create very natural looks has been my Too Faced chocolate eye palette it really does smell wonderful so that's me sniffing it and um, I'm using the teal shade that's in it which is a pretty perfect match for the eye pencil and then right as soon as I'm done doing that I'm going to start to darken the whole look with black um, just with a little pencil brush and just start blending that right into that cream pencil and really adding some drama at the outer eye corner because I am going to do a smoky look that is lighter on the inside and fades to black to the corner because I find that a lot more flattering than something that's just very black on the whole eye. After that it just starts to be all about blending 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 as much as possible so I'm just using a neutral from the palette to start blending out the crease and eliminating any harsh lines and as soon as you add a cream product it makes everything so much more long-lasting and dramatic but it also does take longer to blend so I'll take a little bit of time to do this and then eliminate any fallout or smudginess um, in the under eye area with a q-tip dipped in makeup remover then I use what I think is pretty much the key to this look to add that lightness that reflection um, from the pearl to the eyelid and that is just a very pale green this is from Shiseido um, and it has a nice amount of shimmer to it so it really lightens everything and makes the look so much more dimensional rather than just being like a dark smoky blue eye um, I wanted it to really have that peacock kind of fade from the inner eye corner to the outer eye corner and then just to lighten everything up a little bit I'm using a little bit of champagne in the brow bone area and then going ahead and doing my usual concealing with my two favorite products so that's my Y cell concealer and my Laura Mercier brightening powder which just makes me look so much more awake and sets everything really well just a bit of brow gel given that my brows are microbladed and then I always use my Dolly Winks eyeliner it's my absolute favorite it's really affordable and the pen tip brush is better than any other on the market that I've tried so I always end up going back to it and if you struggle with doing a cat eye I think it, you really have to try that product um, and then I'm using my mascara of the moment which is my Dior I am really really liking it because I think the scoop shape brush helps to really curl my lashes and my favorite blush of the moment it's also the one I've been wearing every day so it's Max Peachy Keen and my favorite highlighter which is my Dior one I just love how finely milled it is and that it doesn't break on me when I travel with it and my YSL lipstick which is a really pretty nude pink that just kind of ties the whole look together my current perfume which is the Ni Fatal from Tom Ford and then it's time for some lashes so you guys know I only ever use halfsies for my lashes so they're already cut in two I've already used them once before and I'm just gonna apply some duo lash glue let them dry for a little while and apply them to the outer eye corner 
Next up is hair. I did do my own hair for this event. Um, someone asked me in the comments recently how much I've been going to dry bar. Rarely. Um, I've been sort of weaning myself off. I've grown my hair out and somehow the weight of it has made it easier to do. Um, so I've just been doing it at home and I'm really pleased with how the look came together for tonight's event. I did a center part, which I usually do not do, and then curled it in the usual way, um, just using my GHDs. And I find this gives me a really long lasting curl I just set it with a bit of hairspray and off I went. It was just really easy, um, which is how I like it when I'm going to do my own hair. I don't like to do anything too fussy. And then a key to doing false lashes, whether they be half or full strips, is to touch up the eyeliner to cover up any glue and then use a little bit of mascara on top as well to blend them in with your lashes. Um, I also made sure that I moisturized before I put my dress on. So I used a dry body oil from Kodali, which also has a lovely scent, and put a little bit on my feet because I find that it really helps to prevent blisters at events like this one where I'm going to be dancing a lot and standing in my heels. And then of course it was time to put on my Tahitian Nouvelle pearls. So I'm wearing my studs as well as my signature hand knotted strand. I make these by hand. It takes a long time, um, but the effect that you get is so incredibly luxurious um, and I'm so happy to have been able to offer such a luxurious piece at an affordable price point on my site that is a small fraction of what you usually pay at a jeweler's. Um, they're just such unique rare pieces and being able to wear a full strand of them with a dress like this that won't compete with them I think is a look that I'm really loving right now. So this dress is actually vintage from the 90s. It was my mother's um, but I'll include some alternatives down below that are equally slinky and simple. And then with a little bit of help from my fairy cat daughter I was ready for the ball so off I go. Um, having filmed this whole tutorial I rushed straight off to the Hotel Vancouver was an event for wine fest and it was quite the evening with lots of wine and dancing and I had a wonderful time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to give it a like and subscribe that would really help me out and I will see you in my next video.